What up? It's Mikey from Coal Chamber. We are here in Florida to start the psychotherapy sessions tour with Mudvayne, Nonpoint, Guar, and Butcher Babies. So I'll do a quick rundown of uh, what I'm using on this tour. So I'm using uh, American-made Dios maple shells from D-Drum. They custom made this for me and matched the colors of our first record months ago and uh, it's finally coming together. Sounding killer. It's the best sounding kit I've ever had. So we got 10 by 7. We got 12 by eight, 16 by 14, and 18 by 16 for the floors. The kick is a standard 22 by 20. The main snare I've been using is the steel one here, 14 by seven. We have like five or six snares out, but with the outdoor venues, this definitely has the most attack. Um, the wood shell ones I was using didn't have that bite for the festivals and stuff, better for the, the theaters and clubs. So this is the one we landed on after trying out all of them. Uh, all the hardware is the Mercury series from D-Drum. I just signed with TRX cymbals, which have been fantastic. They have like a dark brightness to them that fits our music really well. So I'm very pleased with them. I use the two ribbon crashers. The game changer for me has been, this is the first time I'm using the Thumper from Porter and Davies, the BC2. Night and day difference with playing. I don't have to yell at the monitor guy to give me more kick drum and it's never enough. You know, drummers never hear enough kick drums. So it's, it's been a game changer. I'm using the JH Audio in-ears now, the combination of the two. I can actually have a lower volume and it actually ends up sounding louder and I'm not going deaf. So that has been a game changer on this, this tour and these shows. I also just signed with Scorpion Percussion uh, with my signature stick. Um, it has this Venom grip because I get really sweaty and wet so it helps it not slip. So these guys have been fantastic as well. I'm still using the old DW5000 pedals. I've tried every fucking pedal under the sun and some of them are too fast, some of them aren't fast enough and I've just been using these for years and years and years and it's what I've been comfortable with. So D-Drum, last time we toured, because I was with other companies and then Vinnie Paul actually helped me jump ship and get on D-Drum a long time ago. Vinnie Paul was instrumental in my career, my band's career, um, always a huge supporter and friend. So when I jumped to D-Drum, they had given me a bunch of different kits. And then when we landed on the, the North American made Maple Dios is the one. Once I played it, I felt so comfortable. And I told them I never want shells that are different. So all we're experimenting with now is obviously the color scheme and, and the look of them. But I can't see myself playing a different drum set. I like when I play other people's drums, it, it does, it, they sound different. Obviously they feel different to me. It's not my comfort zone. D-Drum is definitely where it's at for me. I've turned on a bunch of people to it as well. You know, everything's just falling into place. I was, I was off for eight years after I retired in 2015. And when I started playing again, pulling out the drums and actually hitting them, it almost felt as if I didn't take any time off. These are my, my babies and uh, I would never use anything different. So basically that's the rundown of my kit for this tour. Looking forward to bashing it.